welcome back to the channel. Sorry for all the noise that's going on. I got rain hitting the tarp. I got the excavator running in the background and I have my um, MSR burner burning away in the background, which I'll explain why in a few minutes. I want to talk about what we are doing uh, with some chicks that we have. I won some eggs, hatching eggs on an online auction for some very nice barb rock chickens had my mother hatch them out because we were just too busy with moving and everything. They're now hatched out. We have them here on the homestead, but unfortunately we are heating them with a 250, the standard 250 heat light bulb. It's not practical for actually any situation. It consumes ridiculous amounts of electricity, but definitely for an off-grid homestead running off of, I think we're only running like three solar panels at the moment. So I'm having to run the generator and have it, the heat lamp hooked up to that. So that's been running 24 seven. That's not all that great for our Jenny. So the goal yesterday, last night, was to figure out a way to get them off the heat lamp and use a more energy efficient uh, method. So I tried doing a wool hen using the materials that I have here around the homestead. That had its, had its issues. <laughs> I might be willing to try it again when once we have the place built and I'm able to access better materials, but for what I had, this wasn't going to work. So Garnet was racking his brain last night trying to figure out how he can create a low wattage or low voltage alternative for heat. So we tried a few things last night, none of them really worked. This morning I woke up, and hence why I don't have it on film, sorry guys, I woke up this morning and he has fashioned a heating element, basically, out of a turn signal light from a vehicle. It only consumes 1.3 volts, or is it watts? Watts. Um, and it produces a mass amount of heat. So what he did is we took the turn signal light bulb from a vehicle, put it into a junction, electrical junction box, a metal electrical junction box, ran some wires. I do believe it even has a fuse running off of it. I'm not sure. We talked about it anyways. I don't know if that's actually the And then put the light bulb in the metal junction box, has all the wires all set up, and then he wrapped it in that silver electrical tape, heat resistant tape. I believe they use it for duct work and whatnot. So you wrap the whole device in that. It's producing a mass amount of heat. So my job today is I'm taking sand from our sand quarry. It's pouring down rain. So I'm heating that sand up in a pot on the MSR burner to get all the moisture out of it. And then I'm, as the sand dries out, I am burying basically that little junction box with the light bulb in the sand. So the heat will be uh, distributed by the sand. It won't be as intense. And we'll put that inside the box with the chicks. And when they get cold, they can just huddle up to it. That's the plan. So we'll see if that works. Okay, so here I am in the shed. This is where we're keeping the chicks. The, I only have two dry places. <laughs> in this uh, homestead right now. The shed is one of them. The RV, well, the travel trailer is another. Well, and of course, sorry, I forgot the chicken coop as well. So we have the chicks in the storage shed and that's, we're running the, a cord out to the generator from here. So I just wanted to show you, not really gonna get a great idea of how he did it. And he did it while I was sleeping this morning, so I wasn't able to record it. I apologize for that. But I can show you what it looks like, okay? Okay, so this is the whole device here. So, like I said, it's a turn signal light from a vehicle, hooked up to some wires, and then suspended in a metal electrical box. And I am currently in the process of filling this up with dry sand. And that will distribute the heat and keep my chicks, hopefully, nice and toasty warm at a very little electrical cost. <laughs> 